Hello everyone. Myself is Prince Kumar. I would like to welcome you all to this presentation where we have built a software that is a multilingual chatbot using Google Gemini, where user can have conversation in any other Indonesian language. So let me take you to the main website where every magic is happening. Let me share my screen. I think I'm visible right now. So yeah, here are the main website, what it looks like. So let me log out of my account. I have already created an account. So let me log out and show you from the very beginning. So first the user will enter his pass email ID and password. Let me enter my email ID and password and log into my account. Then after entering the password, we will have to choose the model. We'll go with Sarthi and let's enter a prompt. So the first question, which may, which we can ask is where, where is the capital, capital of India? India. So let us wait for the response generated by the model. New Delhi is the capital of India. Let me ask a more explicit question. <clears throat> explain. Yes. Explain. Photo. Synthesis. So let us wait for the response generated by the model. What our model is doing is like when we give our prompt in English, it will convert. If it's in English, it will not convert in any other language. It will generate the response in English itself. Let me try in any other language. Let's suppose Hindi. Let me choose the prompt. So the prompt is satellite kya hai? So the broad model will do is like the prompt is in Hindi, it will detect the language and it will convert the prompt into English and which will be fed to the Gemini model. The model will generate the response and the response will be again converted into local language that is Hindi. So we shall wait for a few seconds till the response is generated. So here we go. We have the response in Hindi for a, a, a satellite kya hai? Ek upgrah ek vastu hai jiso anya vastu ko parikwaan karti hai. So the only thing about the details of satellite is explained in this response. So our model is basically working in any other language. So th this is the main feature like in, if the user talks to the model in Kannada, in Tamil, in Telugu, Marathi, any other language, it will generate the response into the same language unlike the other models which are out there in the market like Gemini's or ChatGPT. So I would like to invite my friend Karthik to take you from there and try to take, to take you forward from here. Now we have imported three major libraries. First is Generative AI, second is Land Detect, third is Google Trans. And we majorly have two different functions. First, <clears throat> here we are here we are configuring the Google API key. Now, the function Detect and Translate to English helps us to translate, helps us to translate input We have majorly three different libraries. First is Generative AI. Second is LangDetect, which helps us to detect languages. And third is Google Trans, which helps us to translate. Now, this function here helps us to configure the Google API key. Now, we have majorly two functions. First, helps us to translate regional languages to English. And second, helps us to translate back uh, English to the regional language. Now, what happens here is when the Google, uh, when the user gives the input in the regional language, it translates into the into the English, which then goes to Gemini to produce output, which produces output in English. Then it is converted from English to the regional language again by the Google Translator, and finally we get the output. Here we use Flask API, Flask for our server. Please change the slide. Now let's see the diagrammatically how our how our model works. First, the user gives the input. Then 
that it is translated to the regional language, then fed to Gemini. Further, the Gemini response is generated. Then response is translated to the original user language. Then we get our final output. Now I would like to invite Arya to continue further. Let's go. Green 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 now moving to what is the large language now moving to what is the large language model lla a large language model is a statical language model depends on the massive amount of data that can be used to generate and translate text and the other content and perform the other natural language process called nlp task Now moving to use of the LLM. Text type and LLM are used for a variety of processing tasks, including text generation. Now moving to use case of LLM. Text type and LLMs are used for a variety of natural language processing tasks, including text generation, machine translation, text summarization, posture answering, and creating chatbot that can hold a conversation with the humans. Now I would like to invite Obviously. Now I would like to invite my friend Abhishek to continue. One, go. Two, one, go. So why we have preferred Gemini for our project? So let us have a look on that. So uh, Gemini Pro has been trained on around 200 billion parameters. So what is a parameter? The parameter count of an LLM refers to the total number of weights and biases within the model architecture. It's a rough indicator of the model's complexity and potential capabilities. Generally, a higher parameter count suggests a more powerful LLM that can handle more intricate tasks. GPT-5 is trained on more billion parameters but it's the paid one, whereas the Falcon 180B is trained on less parameters, although it is open access for all. Let's uh, let us look why we have preferred Google Translate for the translation from Indian to regional languages. So the accuracy level of the Google Translate to convert English to re Indian regional languages and vice versa is 79.57%. The source has been mentioned below. Now, I would like to invite Sandeep to look on to the use cases of the Sarthi model which we have prepared. Thank you, Abhishek. So moving ahead, through the process of making this project, I can most definitely conclude that our model is for the people of all ages, is for the people from all professions mm -hmm. and for all economic class. The use case of our model constitutes from different domains. The very first one is the customer experience and support. We can extend our services in these different domains for the better customer uh, service and their experiences. Second thing is the social media. Following to it, we have different domains in which we can expand our services which includes the e-commerce retail, the finance, cyber law, marketing and advertising, and healthcare. Moving to the next slide. If we specifically look in the education sector, because that was the motive behind making this model, and we can expand it into different domains as well. So in for the education sector, I must say that our model can help in the language learning assistantship through accessing different educational resources for the students who are from the different vernacular languages uh, boards, like from the Mata Marathi medium or from the Kannada medium. And it can help students in their homework and assignment help. And it can also help for the adults to continue their education, which they had left due to their language constraints and to their respective vernacular languages in which they are comforted. So moving ahead, let me tell you what are the future developments and roadmap that we must keep in our mind, uh, in which we can say that after scaling up our model, we can include these more things. The very first one is the AI advancements. 
we can improve our natural language understanding of the model and generation through AI and machine learning. The second thing is the multilingual expansion. Right now, the Google Translate supports only 24 Indian languages. But in India, we have we are having different dialects. So we can expand the services of our model to give to our, or to provide services in different languages. The third thing is multimodal interaction. We have to give seamlessness uh, in the performance of our model. We have to integrate the voice, the video, and other input output modalities for a better user experience. The fourth one is the personalization. We have to provide deep word personalization and customization to cater our customer such that they can change the services or they can optimize the services according to your own uses. Going to the next slide. So at last, I can conclude that our model will help to integrate different peoples of diverse domains. So I must say that in the field of embracing the diversity, let's break barriers with ease. Let Sarthi guide you wheresoever you please. On our journey to global communication, let Sarthi be your trusted companion. Thank you.